Alright, the last one I want to do is a problem involving three digits, and we'll get right into it. It says, in a three-digit number, the hundreds digit is one-half of the tens digit. The ones digit is one more than the tens digit. If the sum of the digits is 11, find the number. Okay, so now we have x, y, and z. And I'm going to define that as my three-digit number. Okay. This is the hundreds digit, tens digit, ones digit, okay, just for clarity. Now, it says in the first part here that the hundreds digit is one half of the tens digit, okay? So the hundreds digit is x, so x is equal to one half y, all right? And it says over here that the ones digit is one more than the tens digit. So the ones digit is z and that's equal to y plus 1, okay? That's equal to y plus 1. And the final piece of information says the sum of the digits is 11. So x plus y plus z is equal to 11. So now I have three equations and three unknowns, so I should be able to solve the problem. The most convenient thing to do is to just take these, which are already all defined in terms of y, and plug them in for x and z. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say 1 half y plus y plus y plus 1 is equal to 11. Now I'm going to combine these terms here. So y plus y is 2y, and so 1 half y plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 11. Now, this is the same thing as saying 4 over 2y. So if I want to combine these two, it's 5 over 2y plus 1 is equal to 11. Okay, and all I did was get a common denominator so that I could add these two together. So I have a common denominator so I could add these two together and what I ended up with was 5 over 2 y plus 1. So I want to subtract 1 from both sides and I'll be left with 5 over 2 y is equal to 10. Okay, now I want to divide both sides by 5 over 2. Okay, now if I do that it's the same thing as multiplying this by 2 over 5. Okay, it's the same thing as multiplying it by 2 over 5. So if I do that I get y is equal to 10 times 2 is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, so y is equal to 4. Now that I have y and everything else is defined in terms of y here, all I have to do is plug in for these other two. So x is equal to 1 half y, so x is equal to 1 half of 4, and that means x is equal to 2. Okay, so there's my hundreds digit, there's my tens digit, all I need now is my ones digit, and that says z is equal to y plus 1, so that means z is equal to 4 plus 1, z is equal to 5. Okay, now if I want to find out what my three digit number is here, okay, what all three, what that three digit number ultimately works out to, all I have to do is order these in the proper arrangement, so the answer is 2, 45. Okay, so x, y, z is equal to 245. Okay.